Hello guys, this is Sandra here and I thought today I will do a sort of easy New Year's Eve party look while also chatting to you about different things and yeah, that's it. And we have the Puds ears back as well, so let's go. That was weird. I can't click properly. As usual, I zoomed you in as we're gonna start with the eyes and I'm gonna use my Bet and Wild Photo Focus Concealer to prime my eyelids. This is my main primer lately, even though I have actual eyelid primers, but never mind. This is what I'm going with lately, and I'm just trying to finish it up really. So I'm going to take a little brush. This one is from Shoemara, and I think it's a foundation brush, and I don't like it for that, so that was a waste of like 80 something quid back in the day. But never mind, I already have it and I quite like it for concealer on my eyelids or under the eye as well. It's quite a good shape for that. It's not cruelty free though, so, you know, just saying, I think it's goat's hair. Yeah, it is. Well, back in the day when I didn't care. Anyway, I think this will be the last video of the year from me. So I hope you all had a great 2019. For me, it was definitely adventurous. We moved in with my boyfriend the end of last year, so this was our full year of living together for the first time and me being in a new job and it was all really fun actually. It was a good year I feel like and hopefully we have a another good one next year. And you know, this was the year when I decided that okay, I always wanted a YouTube channel, so finally I'm gonna go for it and so here we are to set my eyelids I'm just gonna go in the Becca Volcano Goddess palette it's just something that's here next to me so I'm gonna use the shade Cloud which is just that nice cream shade to set my eyes so yeah this is a big year I decided to start my YouTube channel which was you know always something I wanted to do but I never actually had the courage and this year I finally, finally got around to do it. So thank you for all of you who are watching my videos and you know, commenting really nice things and subscribing. It really does mean a lot. And I'm beyond happy that there are actually over a hundred people who actually want to see what I'm doing, which is a bit mental to me, but lovely at the same time I, you know everyone is saying that oh not doing youtube for the views and no but at the same time it's nice to know that people like enough what you do that they actually click the subscribe button because at the end of the day it's nice to have a bit of i guess sort of feedback is what i'm trying to say so thank you to everyone who's being so so kind and nice and leaving nice comments and all that lovely stuff and I think when it comes to my channel and the content for next year, um, I think I want to slightly, slightly change it up. So when I decided that I want a YouTube channel, it was mainly because I wanted to create fun makeup looks that might be a bit more colourful, a bit more creative, that I might not, you know, wear on an everyday basis. Sorry, my neighbours are really noisy. Um, and then I discovered the whole world of project penning and this whole community, which is amazing. But I feel like I'm doing too much project penning content and those videos generally do better on my channel. So I assume that most of you who subscribed want to see project penning, which is lovely. But at the same time, I don't want to be just into the project penning box, if that makes sense. So. While I will still keep project planning, I have quite a few fun projects coming up. I also want to make sure that I do the content of what I originally came for, if it makes sense. So I want to do more tutorials and I don't know, if maybe a few other different videos. I just want to explore what's out there for me and you know, all those bits. So I think I'm going to do that. Um, with this look, I want to reach for a shadow that I don't often reach for normally which is this Kiko um, shade here let me see if I can get it out now I think you can still get these shadows but they come in a different shape now not in like the circular pen 
This is the Kiko Infinity Eyeshadow 270. They might be called like smart, smart color eyeshadow, I don't know, something like that, but it's just a nice olive green and it has a bit of shimmer to it and you know they always say that don't put shimmer in the crease. I will today, so <laughs> you know, never mind. Sometimes you have to break rules and I just want to use this shadow. So we're gonna use that in the crease and I might actually apply a light layer of it on my eyes as well, we'll see. Start with that and I'm just going to do a nice rounded shape again. I don't want to do anything overly complicated today. Also, it's currently, I think, 3 o'clock. What's the time? 20 past 3 and it's already getting dark, so if the light's changing, I'm sorry. I have a ring light up, so hopefully that helps. Um, but yeah, that's the plan for my YouTube content. Basically, going back to that topic, I just want to do more tutorials and general makeup looks and I will still keep project planning as well because that's a content I really do enjoy as well and I feel like sometimes I'm like two different people inside of me just you know fighting basically I want to make sure that I use my collection but then I also want to try all this new makeup all the time that's coming out but then again I don't want to waste it and you know, I just, I don't know, sometimes it's hard to find a balance and I feel like a mad woman just like these two sides fighting inside but you know, it, it happens. I just, yeah, I, I love makeup, I truly do. I've been watching YouTube since I was quite young. I think, how old is YouTube? 10, 11, I'm 26 so I was here almost since the beginning watching all the content and you know when it was just like Misha Fawn and I don't know Zoella and Tanya Buren you know that whole gang just doing YouTube and obviously YouTube changed a lot over the years and I've seen it all and I just want to find my own little balance in there and see what I enjoy doing the most and I know I love doing makeup videos even though they are not doing as well as other bits. I still enjoy doing it and I just want to do what I truly enjoy even though I truly enjoy, as I said, doing project penning but I don't want to be stuck and doing just project pens. I still like to do all my crazy little looks as well whether it's a bit more creative or whether it's just a more normal eye look and this eyeshadow is beautiful, but it seems a bit patchy in some places. Oh dear. Let me know what do you think, what kind of content is your favourite on YouTube? I really am interested to see because I watch a variety of different videos, not even just makeup. Lately I really got into all these dog channels, which sounds so stupid, I know, but you know when it's like, oh. I gave my dog different types of food and see how they react like they are so funny and then other times I'm more into lifestyle kind of videos and then I go back to makeup although I would have to say makeup is always there like it's constantly there no matter what else I'm doing why is it so patchy like, it's just a bit there it's not even the shape I wanted let me just go in with a clean cotton pad and just sort of tidy up the shape because this is not the shape I wanted. Okay, at least it wipes away. That's good. Go back in a bit more of the shadow and just do the whole roundy up thing because that's the shape I wanted, a nice round shape. I think my eyes are a bit suffering because I already did another eyeshadow look today. But before that, I did another one and I didn't like it, so I, um, I took it off as well. And um, yeah, I think it's getting a bit too much for my eyes. But, you know, happens sometimes. That's genuinely what I do with my free time, especially when my boyfriend is not at home. And I just play with makeup. I'm so, still so new to this whole YouTube game. Sometimes I'm filming videos and I forget to edit it or I just don't have time. I edit other ones and then it 
just I'm just like you know what there's no point after this editing it because it's so old it's not relevant anymore or I film it I try to edit it and then I don't like how it turns out so it just never sees the day of light so I'm still learning I'm gonna just apply the same Kiko shadow with the same MAC 217 brush all over my lid as well just as a base and we're gonna apply another shadow on top of it anyway so it doesn't have to be perfect interesting wonder how this will turn out because so far I'm not too confident in this but another type of video actually I really liked filming I think I only have like three of them but are the eyeshadow bingos I think they are really fun because sometimes I end up with combinations I would never come up with on my own because they're just a bit more bizarre or I don't know so would like to do more of those next year as well and also it makes me dig out eyeshadows from my collection that I haven't used in a long time so at the end of the day I am under no illusion I know I have a lot of eyeshadow and I don't know if at this point you probably have seen my eyeshadow palette collection maybe not and my singles are in there as well so a lot of eyeshadow for one pair of eyeballs, even though back in the day I used to freelance, but still. Alright, and then next comes the star of the show. I'm trying to decide if I want to bite with the brush or with my fingers. Oh, I just dig my finger in it while I opened it. Great job, Sandra. I think I'm gonna go in with a brush first, and I'm gonna use the Charlotte Tilbury Nocturnal Cat Eyes to Hypnotize Silver Leopard Single Shadow. Beautiful, it's like a greeny, tealy, grey kind of colour. And it's not even Christmas yet when I'm filming this, but I might end up wearing this at New Year's Eve. Maybe just with a grey shadow in my crease as well. It's such an easy product that you can just back on and be good and it's nice and sparkly. I think I'm actually gonna go over it with my fingers. There we go, look at all that sparkle. Oh my god, it's beautiful. And I might just bring my crease a little on New Year's Eve. So it's not this strong, although when can you be bold if not on New Year's Eve? That's all I'm gonna ask, but you know. I think it's a beautiful, easy shadow to wear. It can even probably be just one of those one shadow looks when you just put this on, blend it out, and you're good to go. In the outer corner. And I have a bit of a fallout, so I'll just have to clean that up. Oh. Such a beautiful shadow. I feel like this is the one Charlotte Tilbury shadow that not many people talked about, not even when they came out, and I don't know why, because it's beautiful. Yeah, if there's one night in the year when you can sparkle, then that's New Year's Eve. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. And then it came in a set, the eyeshadow, with an eyeliner. So it, it's just the Rock and Cool um, Iconic Liquid Eye Pencil in the shade Black Magic. And as you can see, mine is quite small already. I really do like this one. So I'm just gonna apply a thin line just by my lash line. No, it's not fully green, it's not fully teal. It's not really grey, it's just like a nice, a really nice coloured pencil, but you can't really tell what colour it is, and I like it. It's a shame you can buy this by itself, it's such a nice shade. Alright, I cleaned up my eyeshadow again, and I think I took it a step too far. So, hold on. Alright, I'm just gonna stop it for now. It's not as rounded as I wanted it to be, but it's still nice and sparkly, so 
you know, let's just roll with it for now. To prime, I'm gonna use the Smashbox Photo Finish Iconic Primer Stick and I'm just gonna smooth it onto my skin. If I can oh, open it, there we go. But basically, that's my plan or my, I guess, New Year's Eve, New Year's Eve? No, New Year's resolution, if you will, just to do more artsy looks and to challenge myself a bit more in that way to just make sure to give myself enough time for more basically fun looks. I used to do a lot of like face painting or like body painting type of things as well and I just don't seem to find the time for that anymore so I want to make sure that I keep doing that because I used to love those even though it took a longer time and I was never trained in body painting so you know it might not always turn out to be perfect but I used to love those kind of looks and I I really want to go back to that and just do some more of that kind of stuff so that's my new year's resolution um, and that's what I want to do with my channel okay for my um, face <laughs> for my base basically. I'm going to mix these two products. So it's the Catrice HD Liquid Coverage Foundation and the Becca Glow Silk Highlighter Drops in Champagne Pop which was a limited edition product in the summer. I really like this combination. I just did it for the first time the other day and I really like how it all turned out. So I'm going to use about two pumps of foundation like two drops and then a big drop of the highlighter and I'm gonna mix it on the back of my hand and then just apply it on my face and this way I still get the coverage that I want from the foundation but at the same time I give it a nice luminous finish as well I can see the nice glow it gives to my skin but I have a few breakouts so I need to cover it up I wonder if it's my foundation that breaks me out the Becca one as much as I love it so I will give it a little bit of a break and see it might not be but I've been sick for a week and I haven't worn anything and my skin was a bit dry but it didn't really break out and then I put the foundation on and it did so I wonder if it's that or maybe it's the primer not the foundation but basically I'm trying to figure out what's breaking my skin out ah oh, this is such a gorgeous combination I love it. Just bring it down my neck. And then for my under eyes, I'm going to use the Becca Under Eye Brightener in Light 2 Medium. Ooh, and I'm just hitting pen on it. Exciting. I'm going to pat it under my skin. Under my skin? No, that would be wrong. <laughs> Not under my skin, under my eyes. Look how much brighter it is on that side. Magical. Truly magical. But anyway, back to New Year's Eve resolutions. What are your not New Year's Eve? I keep saying that New Year's resolution resolutions resolutions. My English is just non-existent today. So, what are your resolutions for the New Year? If you have any, because I know that some people don't. You know, you can always start fresh, but typically it's the whole new year, new me, and fresh start, all that thing. So, do you have any? Okay, I will have to set my base, otherwise it's not going to last me too long. But I don't really want to lose the glow, so I'm going to use this again, which I haven't really used since the first impressions, but let's give it another chance. It's the Boutique HD Illuminating Finishing Powder, and it was not my favourite, but hey. Let's see, I'm going to take, I think, a big fluffy brush this time, something like this. I'm so sorry, this chair... Oh, oh. And that's one thing about this powder. Oh, so powdery. I'm just going to put it on. Wow, it's so messy. Yeah, see, there's a lot of product. Oh, I'm really powdery. I mean, I know it's a loose powder, but 
a bit more messy than some of my other ones. Also, I hope you all had a lovely Christmas. I'm filming this, I'm pretty sure I mentioned, before Christmas, so not sure what's happening yet and I will have to go later today to wrap some presents, so good times. I love Christmas. We have our Christmas tree up. I think you actually seen it in a video before, so you will know. Okay, um, under eyes, I'm gonna just take the Kiko shadow on a MAC brush. I just need to clean it because it still has some red eye shadow on it from the previous look. I just take a piece of, I have like a <laughs> glamorously, a toilet paper roll in it and it's so nice to wipe some stuff on it. And you know, it's cheaper than tissues. And I'm not ruining at least all my trousers, so works quite well. Glamorous, I know. And I'm just gonna dab it into the Kiko shadow. It's a MAC. Oh, the numbers are quite gone. 388, it's basically just a flat um, eyeshadow brush. I quite like to use the tip of it because it's fine enough to just go under the eyes and just blend it there. And I'm gonna go in with the brush that we used before, again, I'm gonna take the same piece of toilet paper and just clean the MAC 217 brush that we used earlier just a little bit so it's a bit more clean. And then still go under my eye to buff it out so it's not that strong. And then buff it here as well a bit. Yep, I can't wait to spend some time with family and just wind down. It was a crazy busy year and especially the last few months have been really busy so it's gonna be nice just not to have to worry about anything and wind down a little bit and relax. Ow, I pegged myself in the eye. Ooh, no that's not relaxing. Ooh, okay. Okie doke, what are we gonna do for the face? I'm not too sure actually. Hmm, let me just look around and I'll be back. Um, in real life my eyes look quite nice, but in the camera it looks a bit more raccoony, but never mind. That's another thing I will have to learn in the new year, just how to properly do camera settings, especially because now it's getting a bit darker earlier. Obviously the lights in the camera are quite a bit different than from what I see and I yeah I need to play around with the settings and see what's best. For my eyebrows I'm gonna go in and set them with the boutique eyebrow defining gel and it's just a nice clear gel nothing majorly exciting. It must be school break already because I can hear the neighbor kids just running crazy at home and it's Friday at the moment so they must have just, I think most people are now finishing school for the Christmas holidays and I can hear them running around so hopefully you cannot <laughs> is what I'm trying to say if you can, I'm sorry let's go on for cheeks so, oopsie let me close these back of silk drops before I managed to put it all over the place. For my cheeks, I'm going to go in with the Revolution Ultra Blush Palette in Sugar and Spice. I haven't used it in a while, so I decided to break it out. It's a beautiful <laughs> blush palette. <laughs> and I think I'm going to use this shade and that peachy shade. One of them is a bit more neutral, the other one is a bit more peachy. And I think I'm going to... Actually, first I'm going to use this darker shade all over, almost like a bronzer but not fully because it's still a blush but something similar on the Becca Angled Highlighting Brush. So I'm gonna just use that shade first, almost like a bronzer or like a contour just to give a bit of shape to my face. Yeah, I try to that's another actually New Year's resolution while we're at it. I will try to make sure that I rotate through my products. Because sometimes it's really easy to get into a rut always using the same things. So, you know, I'll try to do more bits. I'm 
make sure that I'm rotating through everything. But at the same time, that's where it comes in that I'm like, you know, sometimes it's two different people fighting inside because I want to use new things, but then also I want to give love to the products I already have. And use everything. But I don't. I like watching shop my stash videos, but at the same time, it's not something I think I would want to do, so I'm not gonna do that. It just doesn't seem like something I would like doing, so I'm not gonna do that, but I like watching those videos. Okay, and then I'm gonna actually skip that shade, and I'm just gonna go into this peachy one, more just concentrated on the apples of my cheek. For a bit more of a fresh colour. I can be a bit heavy handed with blush. <laughs> I'll be the first to admit so I'm gonna go back in with the blush we the blush? No, the brush we use for powder. And just blend it out a bit with that. I'm so subtle when I apply blush and others and night comes to me and I'm just like going ham. So Alright. I have beaten my face to death with that huge brush. It's actually not as soft as it looks. I'm going to move on to highlighter and I decided that I want to use my Powerpuff Girl Collection highlighter from Inglot and it's the shade, sorry, it's called Sparkling Dust. You can use it on the body, anywhere you want really. Not like you can't add a highlighter, but it says on the packaging. <laughs> And this is the shade, uh, what's the shade? Oh, Forever Friendship, P01. I'm not sure why P01, but it is getting off the little powder puff, which I'm not sure why is there. I mean, I guess it's, I, I know it's Power Puff Girls, but no one's using those, especially for a highlighter. Never mind, you've seen it as a first impressions. Where is my highlighter brush? Ah, I found it. It's a really, really intense highlighter, but I appreciate that. Are you ready? Ooh. Beautiful. It's a bit there. It's one intense highlight, that's for sure. Tiny bit. With no extra product, just brushing on my nose. Cupid's bow. Ooh, sorry, that tickled my nose. I'm not picking it. Just there's a bristle and it tickled my nose. A bit there. Now after this, I'm planning to go to the shop because I need some bits for dinner and also haven't found the perfect Christmas card for Luke yet. And it's currently Friday. Christmas is, I think, is it on Wednesday or Thursday? So I need a Christmas card ASAP for him. I need to go out and oh boy will I sparkle in the shop oh yeah you'll be like that girl and I'll be I can see her from the end from like aisle Z if that's a thing <laughs> they will see me coming I'm um, you know it's dark outside but the cars will see me my highlighter will just beam back <laughs> all right I'm going mad I know I know okay now that the cheeks are done should we move on to eyebrows? Um, I'm gonna use this number seven beautiful eyebrow sculpting pencil, and mine is in the shade black, which sometimes is a bit too cool toned, but we're gonna go with it and see how it turns out. Now that the rest of my face is on, my eyes don't look as raccoon in the camera either, which is great. And I'm gonna just fill them in, and I'm gonna, you know, fast forward this bit, otherwise, you're gonna be sitting here for an hour watching me trying to match my eyebrows. Brows are done. Now I'm just gonna go back in with the same highlighter and apply it on my brow bone. Just need a small brush. And I have a favorite brush for that, which is the Sigma E47. The writing is starting to wear off, but it's still there. So I'm just gonna go there. Beautiful. So glowy. Bit there. And then mascara. 
Or actually, no. I'm going to use the Il Masca Broken Gel. It's just called Broken Gel in this shade Silver. And I'm just going to use it in the inner portions of my eye. And I'm going to go straight in from the applicator. Just right there. Nice. I'm not sure how much you can see it on camera in real life. It just adds the perfect amount of glow. I can zoom you in so you can see. And it's going to be in a project pen next year coming up, so keep your eyes peeled for that. Well, if you want to know, obviously. Sorry about the squeaky chair. But if I zoom in, you can just see that nice silvery sheen right there. Again, these look better in real life, but I'm, I'm working on figuring out the lighting, so... Sorry! Now, I always need mascara, but I'm also trying to figure out what I want to do with my lips. I'm just going with the Charlotte Tilbury lipstick. Yeah, let's do that. So, mascara wise, I'm gonna use the Essence Lash Princess Mascara. It's good. I'm not sure I see the huge hype about it, but you know, it does its job okay. I just don't. I'm not sure I see the hype. But it's an okay mascara, but I still haven't found like a favorite drugstore mascara since I went cruelty free. So, if you have any other recommendations, Please let me know. I'm also gonna line my eyes with the shame, shame, not shame, with the same Charlotte Tilbury Rock and Coal pencil. I'm just gonna do my inner waterline just because it looks a bit bare, and I could use a nude one as well, but I want to use this one, so I'm gonna do that quickly. You know what, my waterline used to be so good with eyeliners, and lately it just waters. Why? Why, why, why? Alright, that's done. Oh, why is it raining? Stop it, please. Okay, for the lips, I'm gonna use the soft contouring lip pencil from Essence first, and it's in the shade sucker for grey and it's like a grey purple so I'm not sure it's going to be a perfect match for the lipstick it's a bit more pink but uh, do I have something that goes better with it hold on no oh, I actually do okay so it's another new liner from Essence that I bought not so long ago it's a stay eight hour lip liner and it says waterproof and it's in the shade can I find a shade In the lid. Oh, Stay Vogue 08. And it has a little built in sharpener at the end because it's a retractable liner, so that's perfect. Well done, Essence. And I'm gonna use this to line my lips first. It's really soft and creamy. Okay, no crazy overlining. I don't often do that with my lips to start with anyway. Sometimes I'm on the top a little bit, but. Nothing crazy intense, and I'm gonna go in with the Charlotte Tilbury Amazing Amal lipstick. Oh, can you hear that? It's really raining. Okay, I might wait for going to the shop. This is such a comfortable formula. That's it. Ta da! <laughs> what do you think? I quite like it. Yeah, I do. But anyway, I'm gonna go now. I'm gonna zhuzh up my hair because it seems a bit flat. And I hope that you guys had a great Christmas and I hope you're gonna have a fun new year. And I will see you at the other end, I guess. For now, I'm gonna go. I hope you enjoy this video. If so, please give it a thumbs up and let me know what you think. But for now, I'm gonna go actually. Let me see if I can change the light so you can see it better. Maybe. And it's a bit too dark. Uh, maybe. That's a bit more realistic of what it actually is. Not fully, but it's closer. 
So right now I'm gonna go and um, please pray for me because it's chucking it down so I might have to reconsider my plans. But for now I'm gonna go. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and please, please, please don't forget subscribing. If, well, if you like me, I guess. For now I'm gonna go. Have a lovely day. Bye bye.